What's up everybody, it's Zach from the Switch Force. Today we've got another new Switch accessory to unbox and review and check out with all of you. It is the Everywhere Messenger Bag, an officially licensed Nintendo accessory brought to you by Power A. Big thanks to Power A for sending this over so we could examine it and share it with all of you. And it is something that will carry all your Switch stuff. So I've got all my Switch stuff in front of me. The Switch itself, the dock, the extra Joy-Con, the Pro Controller, the grip, the grip, the cables. And interestingly, it says that there's a removable switch case in here. So there's a case just for the tablet in here that can pop out and can be used independently. And I think that's gonna go a long way in determining if this is worth the $39.99 asking price. So let's open it up, let's stuff everything inside, and let's see how good it really is. All right, so I wanna bring you a little closer so we can really check this out uh, and see how it works with all the pockets because it shows on here that there's spots for almost everything and on the back it says uh, stores the complete Nintendo Switch system for easy portability, fitted compartments keep components secure, removable internal case carries the Switch for handheld mode, adjustable shoulder strap with padding for extra comfort. So we're going to unbox this and uh, see how much space there really is. Now another option for you is the Elite Player Backpack and I'll put a link in the description uh, to that video as well. Jake checked that out for us um, and gave his thoughts. So if you're interested in that, uh, it is more expensive, but it's a backpack style instead of messenger bag. I know some people prefer messenger bags, some people prefer uh, backpacks, some people don't like backpacks and feel like it's childish, some people don't like messenger bags. Very nice Switch logo here. We've got a black, gray, and red color scheme. A little bit of red stitching I think adds a lot and it doesn't match the red Joy-Con, but it kind of gives it that little extra fun flair. Um, so the first pouch we have, ooh, it's zipper. I thought this would be uh, a Velcro pouch, but it's not. That's good. So you want this thing secure. So zipper is good. Um, we're going to open the main pouch up here. And let's see. Inside, ooh, look at this. All right, all sorts of stuff. Here's your shoulder strap. This is going to go, obviously, on the top. Well, I mean, you could carry, like, a briefcase, but I think most people are going to want to throw it over their shoulder. And then here is where you're going to take the switch. And what's interesting about... Uh, this is that inside there is a little case and I thought that we would look at this first because I think a lot of people are going to be very interested in this product. Now I use the Shika Eye case from the starter kit uh, but cases run from $15 to $30 uh, and obviously some like the starter kits you get extra stuff with them but if you want just a case this may be, may be a great way to save some money. So this case is not as complex or as sturdy or as thick or as varied or as detailed as the others that you can buy individually but if we can justify this as a worthwhile carrying case for the switch it makes this whole messenger bag all the more worth it so let's see let's take our switch here um, and it looks like it's just going in under one strap now that makes me a little nervous because the better cases have almost like a knee brace style big velcro strap and then some of the other cases have a mesh netting this is just in here uh, under one strap but after putting it in there it actually it's sized so appropriately it doesn't really move this is kind of locked in place and not going to fall at all i can hold it like this and nothing's going to happen you can see that i'm risking my switch for you for science and it works uh, so it's a nice hard case. You can throw some games in there. I've got some games down here. So there's no pouches for games, but you could definitely take your games, throw Just Dance, and throw One Two Switch, throw Bomberman, throw Bonnie and Visor. You can put them all in there, and they're just going to be laying around. But you could throw them in there and close this thing up. And it's a pretty solid case. It's got some extra padding on the back, um, which is going to keep things uh, from smashing into it. I wish there was a little more padding on the front because the screen's right there, and I can kind of push into it. I think that this is a solid case to put inside something else. And I think for light travel, it works just fine. Unless you're going through heavy travel um, or worried about it getting really bumped around, this would be enough, right? It keeps the screen protected. It's got a little bit of hard plastic uh, on the back. And then it has, of course, well, the games are going to fly out. That's an issue. But it does have uh, the little protective strap to keep the switch in place in here. And it does have, it's not super soft, but it's a decently nice interior. Uh, so you don't have to worry about any scratching or whatnot. Um, and I think if you wanted, no. Uh, I was going to say, you could flip it around, but clearly these indents and stuff are meant for you to uh, to put the Joy-Con that way. All right, so back to the messenger bag itself. I guess the idea is that you put the switch inside the removal case and then put the removal case inside this pouch. But if you didn't want to do it that way, you could just slide the switch right in here. Probably not the safest, but it does work. 
But I think ideally you put the switch back in the removable case and then open up the little pouch and drop the case inside of the case for extra protection. Velcro that up and you're good. Now I'm assuming that this big pouch over here is for the dock, so we're gonna slide that thing in sideways right here. Okay, that's a, well, there, there's a little, little warranty thing underneath. Okay, move that out the way. All right, so the dock is now in like that. Um, what do we have down here? Okay, so this can all kind of unvelcro if you want to open it up for more spacing. Now, there's not name pouches here. The Elite Player backpack does have labeled and name pouches, which I liked, uh, but you can kind of just kind of figure out what will go best. So it looks like this, there's a little strap in here that's probably good for the cables. So let's take our cables. All right, so I've squeezed all my cables in here. That is the AC adapter, that is the USB-C for the Pro Controller, and that is my HDMI. So those are all there. I've got one more pocket here, which looks like I'd take these extra Joy-Con and probably put them there. They kind of seem to fit nicely in the that place. Uh, any other pockets? So we've got on the back, there is another zipper pouch. Um, and this one is pretty narrow. So I'm guessing this is going to be for games. So let's take our games uh, and throw them in there. You know, it's not the best way to store them. I'm probably better off putting those in the case, actually. But you could put them back here if you want. And I'm going to throw my grips in here and see if this works. So I'm going to take my two grip. Uh, for multiplayer action, and that actually works nicely, better than I thought. I thought it would be a really tight fit. It's not, the zipper is able to go real easily, uh, even with the grips in there. Now the real question is, could I take a grip and a pro controller? So let's see, we'll put a pro controller in here, and will it close, because that's a bit of a tighter fit. Okay, good, so this pouch has some give to it, and obviously you're gonna have to be careful, because now you have the pro controller and the sticks here, which isn't really ideal. So maybe we don't want the pro controller in there because it is kind of messing with the sticks. And I don't know, I don't think they're gonna break. It's a pretty sturdy piece of controller, but I feel more comfortable just having my grips back there. Uh, so it's a little bulbous now on this side. You don't have to put those in there. If you wanted to just carry the baseline switch stuff, you could, um, but it looks like it's gonna be hard for me to fit in the pro controller. Now, what I could do is I could take the dock out of this side pocket and I could put the Pro Controller here and then put the dock in the back. Let's see if that would work. So let's move this around, take out one of the grips for now. And let's have a grip and the dock in the back. Now, the dock is obviously wider, but it should, let's see, if we can make this fit. All right, so the dock is in there now. It's a bit of a, yeah, the zipper, as you can see, feeling a little strain with the dock and the grip in there. Uh, can get it to close. The grip is really saying like, no, please, no, don't squeeze me. So you can make it work in the back, but it's gonna be kind of, as you can see, it's really pressing through. So that's probably not the right idea. All right, so let's take the dock back out. Uh, I'm gonna put the two grip in there because I think that seems to work. That seems to be viable. It's a little bit, but not much. Like you can see it, it's pressing out a little, but it's really not much. It may look worse than it is. So the dock is gonna go here. Um, let's see if we can stack the Pro Controller somewhere else. Okay, I've been messing around and I think I may have found something that works. So I've, instead of putting the cables down in their little cable slide, I put the Pro Controller down here because it actually fits quite nicely. You can see it's just hiding in there. Uh, I'm not using the little strap, I just kind of shoved it in there. But it, it fits real good and it keeps the sticks protected. There's some padding up here, so that's really nice. Now you got your Joy-Con, you got your dock, you got your Switch, you got your Pro Controller. And what I did instead was I went to the reverse and I put all the cables in the back. Um, and they're able to fit. Again, I got the HDMI, the USB-C, the AC adapter, and they kind of want to pop out, but you can easily zip it. That's not a tight fit at all. Now, a grip. Can I fit a grip in here along with the cables? Is that going to work or is that going to really stress this thing out too much? Yeah, this may be this may be asking too much. So I think you could probably shove and really tug and pull and push, but I think you're going to have to decide. Do you want to keep the grips with you or the pro controller because this bag isn't really made to have a whole bunch of controllers. It's really mainly made for your Switch, tablet, your dock, your extra Joy-Con, your cables, or a Pro Controller grip. You could fit two grip in the bag, a Pro Controller here, so I guess it kind of depends. Maybe we can, yeah, this 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 pouch here really, can a grip fit in here? No, let's see, it's, gonna, it's too tall, it's not really gonna work. So this pouch is really definitely for Joy-Con in here, put those there, um, and then you have, again, your main switch system pouch which is just for this case. There's no real room for anything else. So it looks like the messenger bag uh, is more of a solo switch carrying case. 
than a very big multiplayer carrying case. You can have some limited multiplayer, right? You do have an extra set of Joy-Con. There's two player, possibly even four player if you're gonna use single Joy-Con. Uh, you can bring a Pro Controller, so we've at least got two, maybe three players. But if you're going for a four player or a full big in intensive load out of Switch stuff, uh, it's not gonna be able to support that. But it does support, like I said, single player or decent multiplayer capabilities, just not all the accessories. Now I have, you know, two grips, I have a Pro Controller, I have extra Joy-Con, and a lot of people probably won't have that, so they won't run into this issue, but I really wanted to push this thing to its limits and show you how much it could actually carry, because I think that's very valuable uh, to know and to, to find out. All zipped up, it's actually not that heavy, which is a good thing. The bag itself is pretty light, and so it allows the weight to, to be just the pieces and nothing extra. It's not really uh, super, intense in terms of carrying this thing around or it's gonna weigh you down and I think with the shoulder strap it would be made a whole lot easier. Uh, I like it a lot. I think it's actually really cool and it feels like a nice compact way to store things. It can't bring everything but it can bring quite a bit and I think my favorite uh, ideal kind of setup with this, where's the zipper? There we go. My ideal kind of setup with this is what I had mentioned a little bit ago which is dock, Joy-Con, Pro Controller, System, cables in the reverse. I think that's the best way to go. And then it is nifty that you have this removable switch case. So if you wanted to carry this separately, you could utilize this pouch for some extra stuff. So throw a grip in there, throw a grip in there, and you know, it's gonna, it's a little tight, but hey, look at that. We're back in business, and now we've got everything and the switch separately. Now I know that kind of defeats the purpose of a switch messenger bag if the switch isn't in it, but they are cool enough to give you a separate switch case. So this works to hold everything or again if you don't want to separate and you want it to just be all in one then you know you're just gonna have to either leave your pro controller behind or leave your grip behind and that's okay really you know joy con are gonna be the main way i think people play multiplayer uh, especially with mario kart taking advantage of the horizontal uh, controller play and snipper clips taking advantage most games are going to take advantage and allow you to utilize joy con so with that being said i think this is actually a pretty cool package and i think the fact that you get a case out of it as well is really nice because like i said you're looking at 15 to 30 dollars depending on a case and obviously you know if we look at the shika i case or any of the starter kit cases you know they've got mesh uh Pouch pockets for extra Joy-Con. They've got little game sleeves. They've got a much stronger Velcro to hold the switch in place. They've got softer interior and a thicker, stronger, sturdier exterior. But unless you're planning on bringing this thing on like a really big trip or to the beach or on a mountain hike, I think you would be a okay in daily use keeping this as your switch protector. I think this will do its job at, at keeping the switch safe avoiding scuff scratches or smears. Um, you know, it's not gonna stop something from impaling it, but hopefully you're not putting your switch in that situation. That would just be not good no matter what case you have. So I like the fact that for $39.99, you're getting the full messenger bag and you're getting this case. It's kind of a little bit of a two-in-one and adding some extra value. So if you think of this as, you know, a, even a, a $12 purchase or a $15 purchase, it then is taking the messenger bag down to about $25, $27, $28, uh, which I think is well worth it. It does store what it needs to store, like I said, for solo or for some multiplayer action. You can't carry everything, but most people aren't going to even have all the accessories that I have. So for the average Switch use, I think this is really nice. I think it comes in really strong. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. Maybe I'd like a little more durability, but I think they went for lightness because this is very light. It really doesn't feel all that heavy um, and it's not going to weigh you down at all. Um, we could put the shoulder strap on, but you've seen shoulder straps, you know what those do. And they made the choice to go less uh, oomph in the toughness department and a lighter build. So you've got a real light but still quality messenger bag with some dedicated pouches and I really like what they did with the zipper here. I think this is critical. I remember way back, I have an N64 case that kind of looks like this. It's a little different, but it was Velcro and the Velcro would pop and it was bad. Things would fly out and flop out all the time. With the zippers though, you're pretty much guaranteed it's gonna stay locked in. Nothing can come out of this. Nowhere can it fall out. Not even from this. So it's really nice to know that everything is going to be secure. Everything is locked in place. And if you utilize this thing as intended, now the switch is real secure. And this can be moved and removed. You could even use this as kind of like your normal storage solution. So you could keep your entire switch set up, or at least most of it, in here. And then just kind of have everything here ready to go for when you want to travel or when you want to play at home if you're, if you're putting it away after every use. Um, and then just remove this when you want to go on the go. So it's kind of like the 
ideal vacation setup, really, uh, because you can take this whole thing with you, have it all ready, and then remove it for daily excursions or for limited play uh, where you just want the tablet. And then you have everything here for the full setup, including the cables in the back. Really, my only gripes are one that I would have liked, a dedicated Pro Controller pocket. I think eventually the Pro Controller is going to become pretty common if it isn't already, and therefore I'd like to see somewhere that you could have put this thing, and two, a dedicated game pouch, even just a little mesh sleeve where I could have stuck the games in. I know I can put them uh, inside of the removable case, but they still are just flopping around, and, and that's fine. They're not going to break, uh, but it would have been nice to have somewhere that I could have specifically placed those things to ensure their security and know they were always in the same place. So that is the Power A Everywhere Messenger Bag, and I think based on the light design, based on the fact that they do have the removable case, based on the fact that you can bring a good amount of accessories with you, it does justify its name as the Everywhere Messenger Bag, and it does justify its price at $39.99. So let me know in the comments below what you think of the Messenger Bag. Very curious how you guys like this, if you think it's something you would utilize and use. They've been in and out of stock, but they are available now. Um, and I'm curious what you think of this in comparison to the Elite Player uh, Backpack because that is a more expensive, bigger, bulkier piece of, of gear, but it does have more pockets and more labeled dedicated pockets and can probably allow you to, to bring more with you, but it's heavier, it's more expensive. So there, there's some trails. Plus, that one does not come with the nice addition of a removable case. So you really wouldn't need to buy a case if you get this messenger bag. So I think it's a pretty good investment. I really like it and I think it's a nice travel solution to keep everything in. In fact, I think I may be bringing this when I travel later this week. This might be the way I go because it does store what I need, not everything, but I don't really use the grips all that much anyway. So the Pro Controller, the extra Joy-Con, I'm good to go. I can play multiplayer, I can play single player, and I've got the important accessories with me. So let me know. That has been another Switch Force Accessories review. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're interested in more Switch stuff, and hit that notification bell if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest from us at Switch Force and from the Switch in general. Until that time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Switch Force out.